before we get into the video, I want to make a disclaimer about this. This little little jiggly mess right here. I just got Kybella done a couple days ago. And if you don't know what Kybella is, they basically inject under your jaw, like this little fat area right here. This right here is swollen. Kybella essentially uh, kills the fat cells under your jaw, which will make it more snatched. But you can see how it's like, if you can see, you can see how it's swollen right there. This is going to eventually be a flat surface, but of course it's gonna take some time. Uh, but right now I'm still a little swollen, it's still a little tender and numb, and it's a little jiggly, cause it's like all the dead fat is waiting to be dissolved. So it's like, um, it's like a gelatin filling right here. So it's gonna be a little, a little dangly jiggly. Hopefully this turtleneck can just conceal it. I did want to film for you guys because I want to keep up on a good schedule and I can't let some Kybella hold me back. It's going to be like this for the next couple of videos. It's just a little embarrassing because I got a little jiggle jiggle right there. But maybe we can contour it. Maybe we can contour it away. Maybe. Yeah, I just want to make that disclaimer in case you're wondering why all of a sudden I look like a bullfrog. All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a really fun video for you guys. It's something I haven't done on my channel before yet, but you guys on Snapchat requested me to do a video on this item. So today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and I believe this is not out yet. I actually talked to the co-owner of Milk Makeup a couple weeks ago before my San Francisco trip, and she was telling me about this, and I was really excited. Basically what this is and why it deserves its own review and own demo and all that stuff is because essentially it's supposed to blur the skin and it's supposed to fill pores just make the skin texture free and blur and just flawless and why this is so unique is because it's silicone free and it's oil free and what silicone is is what most pore filling primers have in them so like my benefit professional or the makeup forever pore filling primer most of those have silicone and silicone is really really bad for your skin it clogs the pores and it can make you more prone to acne and so on so if you're like confused as to why you're getting more acne than usual it's probably because you're using a silicone primer there's nothing like this on the market that I'm aware of but they were telling me that there's nothing really like this on the market before I do the demo I want to tell you guys my skin type and stuff like that so you're aware of my skin type and you can compare it to yours see if it's gonna be right for you etc etc I have normal to dry skin so in my t-zone it's like normal it's normal and then on the outskirts it's very very dry and patchy I have dry patches on my forehead in this area and I have a little bit of dry patches in this area and I do have big pores I consider big pores and blackheads I do have skin texture and I do have acne prone skin so so this is what the product looks like I'm just going to do a little bit of this a little one two here Oh wow. Actually, I know you can't see it, but that completely erased the texture on the back of my hand. That's insane. Quick little ponytail. Pull some hair forward a little bit here. Okay, so I have my hair back, and I'm just going to take the mirror that came in the PR package. So now I'm just going to apply it to the skin. Actually, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the texture on my skin perfectly. Okay, we are close. So you see I have some pimples, acne, acne scarring. This is the texture of my skin. You can see there's some blackheads. Ooh, what is this guy doing here? That concerns me. So I do have porous skin. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like how up close this is. I mean, I don't have that textured skin, but so this is the product and I guess I'm just going to Oh my god, you guys. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's blurring everything. This is crazy. This is my skin after. I see a difference. In person, I see a difference. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out. Hold on. I'm going to add some more. I see a difference. This is crazy. This is literally blurring everything. I feel like this did a better job than my professional. It's blurred everything, guys. It's even filling the wrinkles under my eyes. 
Okay, I see you milk makeup. Now let's see how foundation applies over it. So for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever foundation stick. This is one of my all-time favorite, all-time, all-time fave foundations. I'm just going to put this on like I normally would, and I'm just going to take my favorite Morphe E31 brush to buff this out. <gasps> oh wow, you guys, I'm kind of shook right now. Oh my god, this looks so gorgeous. Look at my neck fat jingle. Oh my god. I am noticing that it's breaking up on my nose, and I think it's because I added a lot on my nose. So far, I like how it's going on the rest of my skin. Just having issues with my nose for some reason. My nose just isn't wanting to come through today. This is not my foundation shade. I was tanner at one point, guys. I was tanner at one point. But that's my only issue so far. It does look really good on the skin. I'm enjoying how it's blurring my skin. I, It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. I recently just restocked in the Shape Tape. Nothing's like new concealer though. Am I right? Like there's nothing like getting a new concealer because it's always so good when you first apply it. So this is fair neutral. I don't know what it is, but new concealer always blends like a dream. Cool, adding the concealer on top of the nose, it did fix it a little bit. I don't know you guys, so far I'm really loving this primer. I'm loving what it's doing for my skin. It just looks nice. I just, there's no other way to ex explain it other than it just looks really, really smooth, very, it just, my skin looks very blurred. I'm obsessed with this so far. This Milk Makeup Blur Stick, I'm loving it so far. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I am back. I did contour under here a little bit. Hopefully it's not as noticeable. <laughs> just in case any of you are wondering, my lashes are Raquel from Huda Beauty. My eyes, on my eyes I have the new limited edition Morphe. This is the Copper Spice palette that Morphe's coming out with. I wish Morphe would do this packaging more often, but whatever. And on my lips, I have Marc Jacobs Hot Cocoa. All the products on my face will be listed down below, so if you're wondering what's on my face, it'll be listed down below, as well as the links to where you can buy them, in case you're interested. So my final thoughts on this bad boy right here is it's good. I would not recommend this product if you have dry skin. It did cling onto my dry patches up here, which I kind of knew was gonna happen. I really can't with these nails. I can never pick up anything. It does do what it says it's supposed to do, which is blur the skin. I see no pores peeking through again. Right in my dry patches, there is some sort of, like there's, it's clinging there. Other than that, I love this primer. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Next time I use this, I would only put this in my T-zone area where I really would want it to be matte and where I want where I would want most of the texture to be kind of controlled. I really do recommend this product if you have normal or oily skin. If you have oily skin, this will save your life. This mattifies the skin beautifully. Honestly, you guys, when I say like trust me when I say this, this did a better job at minimizing my pores and like blurring the skin. It looks airbrushed way more than my Benefit Professional would or any other pore filling primers that I own. The only downside is I haven't worn this for a long period of time to know how it wears on the skin. I will keep you guys posted because right when I get done filming this, I'm taking all this off and going to bed. The next time I do go out and I wear makeup for a long period of time, I will let you guys know on Snapchat and on Twitter. I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video and if you guys want me to review anything else or if you guys want to see anything else on my channel, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't, please subscribe because it will help me out and like this video because I know you wanna like the video. All my social media will be down below. All the links to all the makeup that's on my face will be down below. All the discount codes will be down below. And everything you need to know will basically be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.